Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Dior and this is Madara. So um, throughout the uh, the previous encounter I, I wasn't really adding the gold from these cards. Um, I did add it from the, the loots we picked up, but not from the actual combatant loot cards. Um, the total was 44 gold, I've already added it off screen. I had 316 and so 44 add, brought it to 360. So with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and move these cards off now. Okay, takes care of that. Uh, I've gotten the animate card up and running. I went ahead and deployed everything. I'll show, talk a bit more about it in a second. Uh, so we have animates on the field, so there you go. So uh, we got some unknown chest here, there, uh, a whole lot of totems. Uh, we got red, blue, and green. Uh, we have a blue objective near the blue exit. Um, the only way we can get there is by jumping a pit, because there's a wall here and it's blocked here. Um, so essentially, it's gonna—it's kind of—it's kind of like a uh, the path is kind of like an M. All right. So uh, also, we need to check uh, death from above because we we actually completed that. Um, I mean, besides bragging rights, I think the reason you have this here is uh, to ensure that you. Uh, have it noted so you don't have accidentally grab the same achievement twice in the same encounter. Um, that's probably the only other reason, but I'm pretty sure it's just for bragging rights. And everything else has been reset. Uh, Remy now has two whites for her conviction, which is about as good as you're going to get at this point in the game. Though with my luck with magic, it doesn't really matter because I always roll minimum. Um, all right, I think that's everything. So let's go ahead and uh, LFE's up and running. Uh, I do keep my dodge tokens uh, between match uh, battles. Uh, okay, there are, I was like, where are his heal tokens? They're right here. Okay. Okay, we're good to go. Uh, everything's been flipped, flipped. Yep, okay. So let's go ahead and reset as we start first round. All right, Nightingale goes first. Uh, this is not the best setup I want. So I can try to shoot this thing down, but it's going to be hard to do with what I have. Um, I would have to hit... I essentially would have to hit max damage. I would need to at least trigger... Bear, I would have to hit twice, trigger bear, the, uh, the six, plus six damage twice. So I can only use Devastating for one attack because it's it exhausts. So uh, the issue, of course, is the fact they have three armor, and I need I need uh, I need Elifi to get into position before I can even attempt to do anything. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a mess. All right. So yeah, I have some options, but not very many good ones. I think I'm gonna go ahead and attempt it on this animate. The purple one at least. Um, I haven't moved yet so I would have plus one to attack. Um, I'm definitely in range. Yeah, easily. Um, so what I can do is I can go ahead and dump all my points, do an attack plus empowered, and uh, see where that gets us with, uh, with this purple one. So we'll go ahead and grab these dice here and uh, roll it all together and see what happens. All right, that's a flat out miss. Uh, Cause it had, well, actually it's a, it's a, it's a hit, uh, but I will do no damage. Uh, Cause I have uh, the plus one attack makes it so it's nine in total, nine, the defense will make it zero and the armor would definitely make it super zero. Um, so I didn't really do any damage, which is good because I want to keep him at full health because I want to take him down in one go. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I'll take the shot and then call it good. Uh, my only other options. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just pass the turn at this point. I'm not going to activate Nightingale's ability yet. So it'll go on to Rook. Not much we really need to do with. Uh, I might go ahead and just pass turn and let the um, let the animates come to us. I think that's going to be our best bet. Yeah, it's going to have to be that way. Um, as long as I don't start their turn within SOI, I should be okay. And I still have the options of using Elif uh, Elifi to 
like the main thing is I need to get LFE within range to debuff their armor and then use somebody else to kill them. That or get in a situation where I can pump a bunch of damage into uh, using Rook. So yeah, I literally don't have much I really want to do right now. So I uh, will go ahead and pass Rook's turn as well. I'll go to Zeke next. Zeke will go ahead and use Mend. Also, I forgot to use the utility card. I'm just going to go ahead and use it now. She would have gotten throwing knives. And then I'll use his and get that out of the way. Okay. Got the healing bomb. All right. Um, we're going to go ahead and spend one to go ahead and do haste. Uh, we'll give haste to... I think I'll give it to Rook. Actually, I'll give it to Nightingale. We'll see if we can make something happen with that. And that is it. I'm going to go ahead and pass this turn after that. Uh, now it's going to go animates. So first one's going to be the red one. Uh, they're full health, so they're not going to heal. Um, is there an opponent adjacent? No. Is there anyone with an SOI? No. Uh, we're just outside of SOI, just about, or a few steps away. Uh, can it move an attack opponent within range 4? Yes. Uh, move to be range 4 from the nearest opponent. Uh, in this case, for the red one, it's going to be LFE. So it's going to go ahead and move up. Uh, the only way to get range 4, of course, is unfortunately to be right there. I don't think he can do it from here. Yeah, the th this is blocking it. So the, um, usually when you try to go um, up 2, um, you try to ensure that you get to range 4. But in this case... The only way to get to range 4 and still be able to attack would be the stand here, which is death. So instead, it's, he's going to jump in to get into range and attack that way. Which means he does need to do a skill check, which is just going to be a straight black die. Alright, he makes it. And then he's going to go ahead and attack Elephy. Elephy is nimble, so she gets an, her the first attack against her is always auto-dodged. And she would get a plus, one sh uh, a plus 1 shield to it, as long as she doesn't roll a skull. So let's go ahead and use Elephy's nimble. Okay, so 3 plus 1, so 4 shields, so she's now at uh, 14 defense, because her defense is the same as Remy's. And it's just going to be a ranged attack. It's also going to be minus 1 to the attack, uh, because it's shooting through hinder uh, hindering terrain here. So 12 minus 1 is 11, it is a flat out miss. That is it for him. Uh, next, this animate is going to go ahead and move into range, and it's going to be here, and attack, uh, uh, attack Nightingale here. Uh, Nightingale will go ahead and use her Occult Shirt to dodge. Okay. Occult uh, Shirt does get plus one shield, so she'll, she has 14 defense as well. And she's in Hindering Terrain, so it's going to be minus one to the attack. Alright, it's a miss. Um, technically, I could counter with a ranged weapon if I had the stamina, but I'm not going to, because obviously I, I want to keep these things fully healthed. Alright, uh, next it goes to Elephy. So, uh, what all we really need to do at this point is uh, get her into a position where she can uh, do her thing. So I'm going to go ahead and move. One, two, three, four, five, six. This puts me within SOI uh, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, do I want to take the extra move? It does not cover the red. All right, so actually, I, I'm good here. Uh, I, I am within SOI of both of them. So I got that to work with. So now they're minus two to their attack, or minus two to their armor, rather. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spend a health to go ahead and give barrier uh, to Rook. And that is it. I'm not going to use the gore shot. All right, um, then it goes to Remy. So, uh, Remy's not hasted or anything. So all I'm going to do with Remy is I'm going to move her. One, two, three, four, five, six, and just go here. I'm just getting people into melee range just so these things will do other... Th um, 
to ensure these things uh, do their uh, normal attack instead of their darkness, because I don't want to deal with darkness. But uh, it's going to be up to the initiative roll here, so let's, uh, okay, Nightingale goes first, and then Rook. So Nightingale, uh, she is hasted, so she gets f uh, three stamina plus one from haste, so four. Occult Shirt will refresh. She has a clear shot of this animate here, and this animate now has minus one to the, uh, minus one attack. Or minus, sorry, minus two to armor. All right, so spending two to attack, spending one to empower. Oh, all right, well, no surprise there. So I could fight drive. I can't reroll the I can't reroll the skull, so there's nothing I can do about that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fight drive and spend one to empower it. All right, it would be it's a hit. Got that going for us, but it's not gonna be enough to do any extra damage, so we're kind of screwed. All right, this is by far the worst result. I would rather missed. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all these spellbooks are completely worthless. If I had otherworldly instead of devastating, I would at least get some benefits from that. I should have. That's probably something I'll consider in the future is getting otherworldly uh, upgrades, because that'll make it so every t uh, two books gives you plus one um, magic damage. All right, so 12, 13, because I've I haven't moved. Um, so it's gonna be four damage base. Um, I can go up to eight, and then it'll do a total of seven. And that's about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. We'll do seven damage to it. I need to do eleven with the next uh, next attack plus throwing knife. So uh, I'll go ahead and use her. Um, once per encounter ability, Ambitious, get plus two stamina, use it to attack. Uh, it'll be not empowered, unfortunately. I have no, I don't have a means to empower. Actually, I technically do. I technically have a means to empower it. I'll pop a Bottle Blessing and get plus one stamina. So Ambitious would be two, Bottle Blessing will get a three. I use it all to attack and empower. And we'll see if we can make something happen here. Okay, we made something happen. All right, so that's 14, 15, because I haven't moved. Um, against nine defense, so six damage. Exactly five shields. Um, so that's another six, a 12, 13 because of the star. So 13 damage in total. It has only one armor because of being with an SOI of um, back full of organs here. Uh, so yeah, fifth, it was 15 minus nine is six plus six, 12, star is 13. So 12 damage, which is enough to kill. Brings it to 19. Um, did cost me a bottle blessing, but that's okay. I mean, the, the consumable deck only has four cards left anyway. <laughs> so, because we, we bought it all out. All right, so uh, that is dead. And let's see what the, uh, the trigger is. Proof of prowess. The animate looks almost confused as it falls dead at your feet. Draw, Don't draw a combatant loot card for defeating this opponent. Instead, draw, gain one random common relic. So we get a random common relic, which is good because we're out of mundanes. All right, so I'm going to hit shuffle once and then draw. Fortune cookie. Uh, fortune cookie. Uh, flip at after rolling for any reason at a white or purple die. How does it know? Um, so key thing here is it's a flip effect. Um, so it's a little iffy, as in you can only really use it once. But it is something I can mess around with in combat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep it in her... Uh, inventory for now. Um, I might have someone else take it. But we'll see. All right. Uh, so with all that said and done, let's go ahead and uh, that was Nightingale's turn. Goes to Rook. 
Uh, I did activate Ambitious. Everyone should have gotten one stamina, but Ruck's going to be maxed either way. Plus one stamina, plus one stamina, plus one stamina. All right. So Ruck, let's uh, let's have you good to work. Uh, I'm going to spend one point to move. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not in line of sight of this thing yet. Nope. And this is blocked by that, so we're good to go on that. So one, two, three, four, five. Yep. All right. So that was six movement. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spend two to go ahead and do courage stifle. We'll uh, roll just a white die by itself. Six. Uh, it's a spell six, so it's gonna be a total of force of twelve. And their conviction is a teal and orange. And they got a 12, so they resist it. And then I'll do it one more time. 7 plus 6 is 13. All right, they got a 10, so they didn't resist it this time. Um, I have 4 armor plus 1 from barrier, and it does 2 times my armor, so 5 times 2 is 10 damage. Uh, we've already gotten the achievement, so we're good to go on this front. All right, so with all that said and done, uh, it goes to Animate's turn. Animate's going to heal too. And then he's going to uh, attack an opponent that is adjacent, which is Rook. And let's see. Farther from the target. Yeah, so it's going to attack Rook. Uh, Rook will dodge with a defensive core. Skull is a fail. All right, so no extra dodge. Uh, it is empowered because he has heavy cleave. All right, nine is a miss. Um, I did dodge. Well, the attack missed and did no damage, so I'm going to go ahead and exhaust my medium shield to counter. And then exhaust my warhammer to empower it and make our attack. Okay, 10 is a hit. Um, so it's going to be against nine defense. It's going to be base damage one. Every two shields is another two physical. There are four shields, so it's going to be five damage. And then the star brings it up to six. Um, it has one armor because it's been debuffed, so it's going to take five damage. Putting it at 13. Yep, so almost dead, but not quite. Um, it's supposed to move two away from the target. There's no way for me to get two away from Rook, so it's going to stay in place. Like, literally, going here or there is not going to change anything. All right, uh, after that, it goes to Elifi. Elifi will get her stamina back. Gets three, spends one to move. She'll go ahead and say hello to it and uh, spend two to attack. Two white die. All right, 14. Nine defense, so five damage base. Uh, the two books bring it up to seven damage. The stars bring it up to 11 damage. Um, and one armor, so 10 damage in total, which is m way overkill. And what was the other one? Uh, don't draw a combat. Okay, so we did draw a combat in the loot card because we did the achievement for the other one. So this will be our first draw. All right, six gold. I'll go ahead and note it this time so I don't, f so you guys can see it be increased during play. All right, six gold. Also, I apologize if the mic sounds a bit faint. Um, there's not much I could do about it. I think it's a thing about uh, uh, wireless headsets, unfortunately. Uh, goes to Zeke. Uh, we don't have an animate on the field anymore. I'm just going to put it here for now, just in case. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just get moving with Zeke. Uh, is there anything I want to mess with? Yes. Uh, all right. So he's going to get maxed out on stamina. Uh, he'll spend his backpack to do a re-equip and take those throwing knives. Uh, his pack size is nine because <laughs> it's three base and then he gets six additional spots because of the adventurer's pack. So he's literally going to carry all the, the throwing items. All right. Um, I'll spend one to go ahead and haste somebody. Uh, we will haste uh, Rook. I'll haste Rook after I move, of course. So let's go ahead and move 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we'll do seven, eight and get something on the field. That's going to trigger that. All right, so before I haste, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to haste one way or the other, so I'm not that big of a deal. Uh, so it was two stamina to move, one stamina to haste, and then uh, let's do the blue totem. A uh, handful of cave sickles occupy the area. Spawn three cave sickles adjacent to this totem. Cave sickles are literally everywhere. All right, uh, let's grab the initiative card. Cave sickles one through three. Grab you. You. And you. All right. Blue totem goes away. And then we need to grab their intelligent card. Which will be right here. And then we'll grab a bunch of this. All right, uh, that is it for, this is Zeke's turn, so it actually needs to be over here. All right, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and end Zeke's turn. I'm not gonna try anything special that, after that. Um, so it's gonna go to uh, Chaos Sickles. Uh, pretty much the main thing is, can they get within range four? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Technically, yes. Uh, only way to make it happen though, one, two, three, four, is by jumping twice. So we're going to start with the first jump. One, two. Dead. OK, second cave cycle. Can it get within range? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Yes, but it has to jump twice. Yeah, because if it, if it just went around, it would be it would be short two distance. So first jump. Passes. Second jump. passes. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's going to take a shot at Zeke here. Uh, Zeke will go ahead and attempt to dodge by spending a stamina. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Badass Leather Jacket to re-roll a dodge roll. There you go. So three plus ten defense is thirteen. That's right now out of range of the other cave sickle, so it's just going to be two white. Uh, 12. Barely misses. Good thing I dodged. All right. And then the other one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, cannot get within range, so it actually stays in place. All right. And then it goes to Remy. Uh, Remy will get her two stamina, and then she was going to go ahead and spend one to move. My cat is meowing like crazy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna go ahead and jump using Rook to help. It's not gonna fail because I, because the strength and agility together equal. It goes above ten just with that. But I roll anyway. Um, cave sickle. Uh, let's go ahead and make our attack. So we'll spend two and roll. Whole bunch of misses. Uh, I'm not gonna use enchanted piercings. We're good for now. I'm gonna go ahead and spend the other two to attack again. All right, nine is a hit. Um, it's gonna do one, two. It's gonna do one damage base, two, three, four, five, because of that. Uh, if I exhaust this to do the book, so every symbol does one damage, and I do. I have one base uh, from the attack itself. So five damage to uh, purple. Sneezing on it might kill it. Uh, I could kill it with animism, but it's a flip effect. And I don't want to use my flips yet. So let's go ahead and reset to the track. All right, Rook goes next. I'm going to go ahead and let's see, he's hasted, so he gets four stamina. I'm going to go ahead and just have him move normally. I'm not going to jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So spend another stamina to get the extra movement, then spend two to go ahead and do Courage Stifle. All right, two plus six is eight. 
they get a purple and a white because they're cave sickles. And got an eight, so they resist it. All right, goes to Remy. Remy will get three stamina. She'll spend two to attack. As long as I hit, it kills. It does, it kills. All right. And just to reuse this later. Right. Um, that should have re refreshed. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and spend a stamina to move. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think I'm in view of the other one. I am not. Actually, we'll go right here. Just call it good there. All right, goes to Elifi. Elifi will get three stamina, bringing her up to five again. Spend one to move. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll make the jump using Zeke to help. Didn't need his help. Um, then I'll spend another stamina to get extra movement. One, two, three, four. So another stamina there as well. And that's going to be it for her. All right, goes to Nightingale, who has way far behind everybody but she does have haste so we'll get her four stamina uh it would be seven nine eleven thirteen so thirteen movement one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen Even if I held back, I, I wouldn't have been within range. Uh, goes to Zeke next. Also, I, I did jump, so I'll go ahead and roll just for posterity. So 8 plus her agility is way over 10, and Zeke was helping as well. All right, goes to Zeke. Uh, Zeke will get 3 stamina. Refresh his stuff. Spend 1 to move. Refresh his other thing. Okay. Uh, 1, 2... Three, four, five. I think that's going to be it for right now. Uh, I'll spend one to go ahead and uh, banish knowledge and haste uh, Remy here. I'll be it for that. It goes to Cave Sickle's turn. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, can I go one, two, three? Yes. So Cave Cycle and Action go here and shoot at Remy. So we'll go ahead and shoot. Uh, Remy will use the too many belts to dodge. All right. Nothing there. Uh, just two whites because it's the last cave sickle available and misses. Okay, and new round. All right, Zeke. Let's have him spend two to go ahead and haste himself. He has to pay full cost because it's up to himself. Um. Also. I should have used Mend. I guess I didn't remove it earlier. Because, yeah, this is our second fight. Yeah, this is our second encounter, so we should have four of these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use one to heal Elifi to full. All right. And then let's go ahead and have him move. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put it right there for now. It uh, goes to Nightingale. Nightingale will get four stamina. Spend one to move. One, two, three, four, five. I think she has line of sight. So she does. All right. Uh, she's moved, so she doesn't get the plus one. I am going to go. I'm not going to empower. I'm just going to shoot regularly. So two stamina. All right, 13, it has eight defense, so it's gonna take five damage base. 
and then I'm going to go ahead and exhaust one of my Devastatings for another two for a total of seven, which will kill it. And then that's the end of that swarm, so we'll draw. All right, four gold, so we'll add four to that, bringing us to 370. This seems like a lot of gold, but uh, you'll quickly find out that common items are very expensive. Uh, that common item we picked up, by the way, 40 gold. So it's about the equivalent cost of like a two-handed weapon. No, it's not even that. It's about the equivalent of two caresses. <laughs> so definitely, definitely a lot. Anyway, uh, takes care of that. Goes to, that's the end of case of sickles, so we don't need them anymore. Uh, goes to Remy. Gains four stamina. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just have her move. What's her perception? Three. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move her one, two, three, four. And I'm just going to have her there just to help peop uh, people jump across. She does have four strength, so she's, uh, despite her look, she's actually pretty, uh, pretty bulky. All right, goes to Rook. Rook will gain four stamina. We'll spend one to move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll just go there for now. Uh, goes to Elifi. Um, Elifi is just going to get our three stamina. I'll spend one of it already just to move. One, two, three. Uh, since we just killed something, we don't need to worry about uh, urgency tokens. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just let the turn pass just so it can have everyone fr uh, fresh for the next round. Because if we triggered something and get a monster, um, it would attack us, and then there's a chance it can go first next round. So it's a better idea to do it this way. Uh, can you actually help Elifi? Yes, technically you can. All right, so I can go ahead and just have Remy move, I guess, first. So the question is, uh, what? where do I go? Do I want to go? F we'll go this way. We'll fly one, two, three, four. And that's going to trigger the green totem. Through the white pillars, you catch fleeting glimpses of watery form. Spawn two water loa on any water space uh, adjacent to this totem. So we get water loas. Always fun. Now, a fun thing you can do uh, in this particular map with water loas, and if you happen to have a, a longbow and uh, true flight arrows, is you can actually outrange them and just shoot them while they just sit there in the water. They'll never leave water, so uh, it could be uh, some good times there. Now, you still have to worry about urgency in some cases, but only I think as long as I think as long as you're doing damage, it won't trigger it. In any case, we're spawning something this round, so there's no risk of urgency there. So uh, one here and one there, and we need to grab their intelligence uh, intelligent card. So let's grab water lows. I'll grab these to borrow. There you go. All right. Uh, I, I went one, two, three, four. I still have two points of movement, so I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that. Two, three, four, five. So yeah, as long as I move away from here, um, I, as long as I'm at this line here, they actually can't reach me with their six range attack. So it's going to go Waterloo's turn. They literally have no targets. I think there are no targets. Yeah, none at all. The pillars are in the way for going after Nightingale. Uh, goes to Nightingale's turn. Uh, Nightingale's going to jump across. Uh, she'll get help from Elifi, who provides two strength. So that'll add to her five. So as long as I don't roll two ones, I should be okay. Yeah, I should be fine. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm just going to shoot this one here. I have eight range because I have two, 
two true flight arrows, and the Bearer of Justice, of course, has six range base. So, um, also, I forgot to actually get my stamina. So, one for movement, two to shoot. I'm not going to empower it because these things are arcane, so symbols don't do anything. And we'll just make our attack. All right, uh, that's 12. Uh, it's going to do three damage to the red one. And then I'll shoot again. That's 13. It's going to do another four. These things have nine defense, and symbols don't do anything. All right, it uh, goes to Elephy. Um, Elephy is going to go to five stamina, and then she's going to spend one to move. Let's go trigger that other totem, because I don't want to send Rook and Zeke across. So one, two. OK, that is, that is definitely clipping, so I don't need to worry about that yet. But if I go here. That should definitely trigger it. it. It does. OK, so red totem. As you approach the, uh, approach the corner of the wall, you hear more cave sickles. But when you turn the corner, you find yourself staring up at an earth flow. At the, a moment of confusion washes over you as you swear that there are still more cave sickles somewhere on the platform. Perhaps they'll show themselves later. Spawn an earth flow on the space this totem occupies. So it's not, I like, like I mentioned before, I do like the descriptions because they do give you hints. It's like, hey. You just killed some cave sickles, but you hear more of them. And you're not sure where they're at. So maybe we'll be fighting more cave sickles. All right, Earth Loa. That is not an Earth Loa. That was an ablation. That's an Earth Loa. Let's make sure that actually went back to where it was supposed to be. Yes, living ablation. OK. All right, uh, we need to make some space. Put these there. Let those reset. All right. Uh, search Earth Loa. I think that's we fought some before. I think we fought one and avoided the other so far. Uh, intelligent AI card Earth Loa. And let's just borrow that. All right. Uh, so Elephy's in position. I'm going to go ahead and just do a gore shot. So let's roll. Oh, sorry, it's not white. It's purple. So 6 plus 6 is 12. Our Floa has two whites for their conviction. 11. That's not enough. It's going to take two damage. Um, I could buff it, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to let the two damage go through. Um, then it's going to get Earthloa's turn. Earthloa is. Uh, there are no allies nearby. Or another ally nearby. It won't put it on itself. Um, is there more than one opponent adjacent? No. Can it move and attack an opponent within reach too? Yes. Um, so it's going to go after a nearest opponent. It, it, it does have line of sight, so it's just going to attack in place. Uh, LFE has Nimble, so she'll dodge with plus one shield, as long as she doesn't get a skull. So she has 13 defense, and this thing rolls two teals for, a uh, for attack. 11 is a miss. Okay. And that's it for Earth Loa. It goes to Rook. So let's do Rook. Spend one to move. One, two, three. All right, so that actually has line of sight somehow, but it didn't have line of sight to the token. It's kind of weird how that works. But I'm like I said, I'm just going to go with what the, the snapping does. So I technically can cast from here, so I am. I'm going to go ahead and do Courage Stifle, roll a white die. 6 plus 6 is 12. It gets two whites towards uh, Conviction. Uh, so they got 10, I got 12, so mine goes through. Does 10 damage because I have 5 armor because of the barrier. And then I'll spend the last two to do a cast one more time. Uh, only two, so it's going to be eight. Eight versus 12. All right, he resist it. That's it for that. Um, goes to Zeke. Zeke can't really do anything without provoking, unfortunately, but that's all right. I think I'll go ahead and take the risk. 
Uh, so one, two, three. I'll go ahead and do the break attack for the Earth Loa. I'll spend a stamina to dodge. Three, so 13. It gets 13. <laughs> so this is just the break attack. So it's just going to do uh, 13, 13. And then every shield is plus one. So it's going to be a total of three damage. Uh, Zeke has one armor. And then he gets uh, reduces physical damage dealt from melee attacks by two. So he takes zero damage. Uh, which means he can actually counter. But I'm not going to. Uh, instead, I'm going to just keep moving. So that was one, two, uh, one, two, three. We'll go here, and then I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and spend all and attack with in power. All right, that is a straight up miss. I'm gonna go ahead and exhaust my hand axe to re uh, make another attack. It won't be empowered though. All right, that's a miss. Let's go again. Eight, I do hit. Uh, it's not enough to do damage though. Uh, the Earthlow has five armor. It's gonna be debuffed by two because of uh, LFE. Um, and I'm doing, even the defense alone is enough to make it to zero. So it does nothing. All right, well, that was disappointing. But that is Zeke for you sometimes. Uh, I'm not gonna throw axes at it. It's, even with the debuff, it's not it's not worth it. So we'll go ahead and reset initiative. Okay, right, Rook goes first. He gets four stamina because of his uh, haste. He's going to go ahead and spin two to go ahead and do Courage Stifle. Eleven versus eight. All right, that's enough to kill because he only has 20 health and had 22 damage already. So bam. All right, so that's a dead earth level. Let's go ahead and see if we get any fancy things. Just gold, so nine gold. Puts us at uh, 379. All right, uh, and that removes the earth loa. Goes to Elifi. Uh, Sure, why not? Let's have Elifi do things. Uh, she'll get a stamina back. On exhaust, she'll spend uh, one to move. One, two, three, four. Spend one to search the chest. Blue. Uh, you find a pile of treasure. Gain two random consumables. So I'm going to shuffle once and draw twice. One and two. All right, good situation. Uh, do, do, do. All right, so um, Bottle Blessing. These are all going to go to uh, Remy because she is the c controller of the summon. So she gets a few items. Not a huge deal. Um, and that's it for Elifi. Goes to Nightingale. Nightingale is not going to move. She gets four stamina because of haste. She'll spend two to attack. That's a flat out miss. I'm gonna go ahead and re-roll the three. All right, that makes it a two, which is the lowest value. I'm gonna go ahead and exhaust kill the messenger to change that to the highest value, which is eight. So that's a hit now. Uh, it's gonna be 12. The total is 13 because she's not moving. Uh, these things have uh, nine defense. So 13, so it'll be four damage putting at 11, and then I'm going to exhaust the Devastating, which, by the way, I should have used the other Devastating earlier uh, to do another two damage, because while they're immune to symbols, they're not immune to Devastating stuff. So that'll be enough to kill the first one. Draw. Seven gold. All right, uh, I'll put it at 386. All right, next. Uh, she unfortunately doesn't have a clear shot of the other one, I don't think. Else I would have done uh, down the masses. Really, the only reason I have down the masses is just so I can get to tier three. But you do use it in other situations. Uh, water water low is not going to do anything. There's nothing in range. Goes to Remy. Uh, I'm actually kind of okay with having Remy move in and maybe do some swings. Maybe honestly, that's probably not a smart idea because the spell casting will just kill me. But I'm 
who says I do smart things? All right, so I'm going to move normally, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with flight. And that'll give me one attack. It's better than nothing, I guess. Uh, 13 is a hit, so it'll do four damage. So there you go. All right, and then it goes to Zeke. He can't really do anything right now. We'll get him uh, four stamina and uh, let the others deal with everything else. Uh, I guess I could pull him back though. I'll put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just in case the jump fails, um, he can use his perception to catch them. All right, uh, new round, reset the track. Uh, go figure, the water is gonna go before the others. All right, uh, Zeke will stay in place. We'll just have him max out. Oh, actually, I should have hasted Elephy while I was there, but that's okay. All right, uh, Rook will just hang out. So max him out. Uh, goes to Waterloa. Waterloo is going to cast a spell. Um, he has, actually, is there a figure within SOI with an effect? Yes. Uh, it's going to dispel haste first, and then it's going to cast a spell on him on her. It's not going to do the melee strike because it only does that if there's more than one near her. So Remy will go ahead and roll two whites for conviction. Eight. I'm going to go ahead and use a enchanted piercing to re-roll the two. I'm going to use the Enchanted Piercings to go ahead and reroll the two. All right, well, that's a little bit better. Fortunately, I don't get to see the casting die ahead of time, so let's go ahead and roll that white die. Oh, uh, 5 plus 6 is 11, so it does connect. It's going to do 1 damage plus 2 for the difference. Or sorry, it's going to do um, 2 plus the difference rolled. So the difference was 1, so plus 2 is going to do 3 damage to her. And it's going to put Water Tile under her. Like so. Alright. Well, I was hoping to avoid taking unnecessary damage, but that was just me being greedy. I could have just waited and let the archer do, uh, well, Nightingale do everything. Well, it's Remy's turn. Uh, she's no longer hasted, so she'll only get three. She'll spend two to attack. Eleven is a hit, so it's going to do two damage. And that's it for that. Um, I could fight drive, but I can't. Uh, it's not possible for me to actually kill the Waterloa by herself, so I'm not going to bother. All right, goes to uh, Nightingale. So Nightingale has to move, unfortunately, so let's go ahead and do that. Just get refreshed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll just move right here and shoot. I just need to hit, and that'll be enough. All right, uh, 10 minus one, because I'm shooting through an allied squared. So it's going to be exactly a hit, and I will go ahead and pop both Devastatings. And that'll do four damage, putting her at 10 out of 12. And then we'll spend the last two to attack another. Also, we should have refreshed the Quiver. Uh, the two is the lowest you can get on a white die, so I'm going to go ahead and use Kill the Messenger to turn that into a seven. And that's 14. That's enough to finish it off or finish her off. So let's go ahead and get our loot. Eight gold. I'm glad that we got the relic, but I really, really want some monster loot so I can get more upgrades or, you know, get a really decent relic item anyway. All right, that's it for water loas. Um, goes to Elephy. Uh, I'll just put her in defensive terrain, I guess. And that'll be her turn. I'll leave her for stamina. All right, reset the initiative. We've killed something, so there's no urgency. Uh, goes to Nightingale. Nightingale will get four stamina. Refresh all of her fancy things. Um, and then the way the blue objective works is when an adventure enters a space adjacent to this token, you read the text. By the way, there is current, is there? No, there's no current on this tile. All right, so. Uh, we'll go ahead and move, trigger this, so we've moved two spaces so far. 
uh, read the following text. Surrey stops abruptly and shoves you back with a gust of magical energy as a large chunk of the ceiling falls into the canal, sending water and rubble all around. You spit out a mount mouthful of stale water and find Surrey floating nearby. She shakes her head and tells you that it looks like you'll have to go the long way back. Behind you, a wall was knocked free and sent flying into, into the abyss. Surrey points and nods, confirming the new path is the one to take. You peer across the chasm and see cave sickles on the neighboring platform. Place and remove tiles and tokens and figures according to diagram 6. The water on the placed tiles has a current. These currents uh, move figures, token, uh, figures and tokens one space. See rule book 20, uh, see page 22 if you want to read about currents. Uh, discard the blue objective token and replace the win condition of this encounter to an adventure ends their turn on the red exit. So our exit just got cut off. So let's go ahead and do the diagram. I believe it was diagram six. Yep, that is it. So I'm just gonna borrow you. Okay, unlock you and then I'll copy you again. And then paste, 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 paste. Okay, uh, so this one actually gets deleted. So that's gone. Uh, we actually need to move, uh, we need to shift this up. So no more red, uh, blue exit or blue objective. And we're just going to right click this to shift everything up by one. So that goes there. This goes here. I'm going to take all of this and shift you down. Take all of you and shift you down. Shift all you down. Like so. All right. Uh, I need some tiles. I need 44 and 72. And 72. Yeah, the snapping is really good for the tiles now, so I don't actually have to do any sliding or anything weird now. All right. And then we need to add a blockade here because our tire route's been cut off. Though you can't technically try to make a two tile jump here if you're really ballsy. All right, uh, and then we need to add two loots. Wish they were face down, but that's what it is sometimes. Or at least an option to get a random one that's face down. So it's mentioning that the tokens move from current, and that is true. Uh, the current is going this way, so in one, two, three, four, five. At the end of uh, five rounds, this token will go off the edge and go and be gone. So we're now on a different clock if we want to get all the loot. All right, so totems. Uh, we need an orange one, I believe. Nope, that's a yellow. Yellow, even though it looks orange in the picture. All right, uh, we do have uh, cave sickles back. It's, it says four through six. I just use I just use the ones that are already dead. The only, re the only way that you would have to make an effort to not kill the sickles in, in order to actually draw four, five, and six. All right. Um, we do need some new damage counters, so I'll go ahead and just grab some. Or at least some fresh ones. All right. Uh, this does add all of them back in, so put you guys back in. All right. Goes to... Uh, yeah, everything else gets removed. Nightingale's on move two, three, four, five, six, seven, and she'll go ahead and loot the uh, the token here. All right, so green loot. The chest explodes as soon as you uh, open it, giving you no time to react. All figures on or adjacent to this token are dealt one purple of physical damage. takes two physical damage. Luckily it was just her. So trap chest, not much we can do about it. Uh, goes to cave sickles. So 
Let's go ahead and uh, switch back to Adventure Sheet. Uh, Cave Sickle is going to attack uh, the person with the most damage. Uh, Rook has no damage, and Surrey has no damage. Uh, or not Surrey, Elephi has zero damage. Looks kind of like a... They almost look similar. Anyway, um, it's going to go after Rook, because Rook is further up on the initiative. Um, Rook will go ahead and uh, spend a point to dodge. And gets nothing, but that's fine. Uh, one, two... Okay. Uh, it's going to roll two oranges, because there are two cave sickles nearby. Eight is a miss, uh, so Rook will go ahead and exhaust the medium shield, the counter, and then the warhammer to empower the counter. And misses completely. All right, that's red taken care of. Uh, purple is going to go ahead and shoot at range to anything that's in range. It's just going to be Elephi. Um, it is shooting through... Uh, Hindering terrain and an ally, an ally tile. So it's going to be minus two to the attack. Uh, Elephi does get nimble dodge, so we'll go ahead and get nimble dodge. And plus one shield to that, so 14 defense. Misses. Um, then it's going to go ahead and move within melee range. So it's going to go here and then make another attack. Elephi will go ahead and spend a stamina to dodge because she doesn't want to get poisoned. All right, so two. It uh, doesn't get the plus one this time because it's not a nimble dodge. And yep, still gets two orange dice. Minus two to the minus. Uh, just minus one to the attack. Uh, rolls nearly max, so 15 minus one is 14. So and I got two shields, so I have 12. So two damage, and every shield will add one, so four damage in total to Surrey. And then she has to roll a conviction check to resist the poison. Force nine. Exactly nine. Oh, thank God. This is why I don't really bother with conviction boosting items usually, because like I always roll like minimum with one of the dice, and so it just defeats the purpose. Anyway, so took some damage there. Not much I can do about it. Uh, goes to the other one. Two, three, one, two, three, four. So it's going to shoot at. Uh, is there an opponent within range four? Yes. It's going to attack. It just says make a range four attack. Um, so it's going to go after. It's actually going to technically go after Rook because uh, Rook is further up on the initiative. Uh, he is shooting through hindering terrain and allies. So it's going to be minus two to the attack. Uh, still get two orange dice though. And I'm not going to bother dodging. All right, 14 minus 2 is 12, which is a hit. Uh, it's going to do base 2 damage, and each shield adds 1. So it's going to do 4 damage. Rook has 5 armor, so it does 0. Um, then it's going to go ahead and move to be within range of... Um, adjacent to the opponent with the most damage. Which, the only person that can get adjacent to was... I guess technically it should have went after Rook. Uh, this purple one probably should have went after Rook, because it was a tie. But that's all right. It went... I'll just I'll just play it as is. Uh, we're gonna move like this. This will provoke a break attack from Elephi, so she'll make it. All right, so let, it's gonna be minus one because shooting into hinder, uh, attacking into hindering. So ten, eight defense, two. It's gonna do four damage in total from the the books. Not enough to kill. And then she'll go ahead and spend a stamina to dodge. All right, three, so 13 defense, two orange dice, 13 exactly, so it does hit uh, the two shields. Actually, shoot, it's attacking into hindering, so it's a miss. So it's 12 versus 13, it's a miss. I'll just spend the, uh, a stamina to counter, because I successfully dodged. All right, 11 minus one is 10. It's going to do at least two damage, so that'll kill that one. Troublesome little buggers. 
All right, goes to Remy. Uh, Remy will go ahead and just fly. And she's going to fly to there. And that will hopefully help uh, Nightingale make the jump across. Uh, goes to Rook next. Rook will get f the rest of his stamina back. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and spend two to Courage Stifle, and I'll target the red one because that's the only one I can see. Uh, five plus six is 11. Purple and white. Eight is a fail, so it's going to do 10 damage and kill it. Then he'll spend the other two to cast on the other one. Three plus six is nine. My cat is saying hello. All right, that is versus five, so it's going to do 10 damage to that one, killing it. And that is a dead bunch of chaos sickles. Uh, four gold. So 398. Getting there. 17, or almost halfway through the deck. There's only two cards. There's only a unique card and a monster loot card left. Um, I can move, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Technically go here. Six, and I don't think it'll provoke. Yeah, it does cover the red a little bit. All right, so he's good there. And that is it for him. Uh, goes to Elifee, who's had better days. I mean, she's only down four, and she has 20 health because her health matches Remy. But still annoying. So get three stamina back. We'll spend one to move. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Spend an extra stamina for the extra movement. Uh, goes to Zeke, who's all the way in the back. Completely out of position. Um, we'll spend one to move six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they'll spend two more stamina for the movement, and then spend one to go ahead and use Banished Knowledge to give haste to... Actually, we'll give it to Rook, because he lost it. Oh no, it wasn't him that lost it. It was, uh, it was Remy. So it'll go to, it'll go to Elephy. Alright, uh, so it's end of round. This loot will move up one space, and that loot will move up one space. Okay, reset initiative. Alright, Zeke goes first. So let's go ahead and do that. So he's hasted, so he gets four stamina. Spend one to move. One, two, three. I'm definitely in line of sight now. Yep. Alright, so yellow. Spawn uh, two more animates, block your path. Spawn one animate on the space this totem occupies, then spawn one animate on any unoccupied normal space on the east side of 72, which is this side. All right, so animate one goes here. Animate two is going to go here. And we'll just reset these. And this will add uh, animates to the track. All right, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Oh, okay, cool. Elephy is actually in position to um, debuff the uh, the animate there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have to spend an extra to move here. So I will. Um, I'm then going to go ahead and I'm going all in. So I'm going to attack into power. And miss. 
Then I'll go ahead and exhaust the hand axe to go ahead and attack again. It will not be empowered. Uh, miss again. I'll go ahead and exhaust the hand axe and attack again. All right, 11. That's a hit. Uh, animates have 9 defense, so it's going to be 2 damage, 3, 4 damage because of the 2 shields, and then 5 damage because of the fisc uh, the star. Um, it only has 1 armor because of Elephie, so it's going to do 4 damage. Putting it to that. Uh, I'm then going to go ahead and throw both hand axes. I'm just going to roll both of these at the same time. All right, so each of these is going to be minus 1, so 8 Minus 2 is 6, putting it at 10. And then I'm going to throw another throwing knife. For 7, so it's going to do another 6. And then I'll throw one more. And that'll kill him. Sorry about that, my headset was being a little weird, so I just wanted to make sure I could still hear myself. Alright, so, burn some throwing knives. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the, um, I did kill an animate, so I'll go ahead and get the loot for that. Draw. Five more gold. I'll be uh, 403. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and exhaust this and get reload our... Uh, main items all right and that is it for him it now goes to animate's turn so animate um this one's unwounded no one adjacent uh no one with an soi um it's going to move and attack someone within range four two three it can actually move here and do that one two three four all right so it's going to attack rook um, Rook will not do anything because he can't. He has no stamina left. So it's just going to be a teal and an orange. All right, so that's uh, 15. Uh, it's definitely hit with a lot of symbols. I'm just going to go ahead and use the Curse to negate all physical damage dealt. Also, I do have a defensive core. I completely forgot about it. But good thing I didn't bother dodging because it would have hit either way. Um, and then it did still hit. It did no damage, but he still gets the follow-up from Chains of Perdition. So he's going to attack one more time. I will dodge this one. Using the uh, defensive core. Got nothing, so it didn't matter. And he got even higher this time. So 14. Um, so 4 damage. Every uh, book and shield combo does an additional one and the star does another two. So it's going to be four damage, five damage, six damage, eight damage in total. Um, I have five defense, so it's going to do, th or five armor, so it's going to do three damage. So not the worst. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and use the fate engine. Uh, after a roll is made against you, remove all symbols from one die. I'll remove everything from the eight. Um, so what will happen then is it's just going to be 14, 4 damage base, none of the symbols on 8 matter, and the, only, the symbols on 6 will add 1 damage. So it'll be 5 damage, and I have 5 armor thanks to barrier, so it does 0. So there you go. We're good to go on that front. Uh, goes to Remy, who is still trying to like help Nightingale out here and getting very impatient. Uh, yeah, she'll just pass turn go from there all right uh, so it goes to Elifi uh, Elifi will get her stamina back first and go one two three four five six seven Actually, no, I'll go here. So, one, two, three, four, five. She'll spend an action to search the red chest. Uh, 20 gold. You find a pile of treasure. I'll put us at uh, 423. Um, then she's going to go ahead and do uh, gore shot. 
So, purple die. 6 plus 6 is 12. Got 10, so it's going to do 2 damage. I'll go ahead and take the extra 2 to do 6 in total. And then that's the end of her turn. She's going to get pushed back by current. Or sorry, sorry, she'll get pushed forward by current. So she'll end up here. All right. Um, goes to Nightingale. Nightingale will get to that. Spend the movement. One. I should have, be able to do this. Yes, I can. All right. So with her help, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to do a two space jump. So the DC is 12. So one, two, three, four. Roll two. Uh, roll these two purple die, please. Oh, she did all by herself. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Say hello to you. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop a. I'm just gonna attack within power. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and re-roll the two from the white die. There we go. And then I'm gonna use kill, uh, kill the messenger here. And turn this two into an eight. Uh, so essentially I'm doing max here. Um, I have seven, okay, so it's 15. Uh, minus nine, so six. Two stars make it, sorry, so 15 minus 9 is 6. Stars make it 7, 8. Uh, the shields will add another 6, so 14. 16, 18. Uh, so 17 damage because of the one armor he had. And that's going to blow him to pieces. Yeah. I've gotten a lot more confident about just using Empower all the time. Uh, yeah, there's a 1 in 6 chance you can miss, but man, doing that extra 6 damage is huge. So, go ahead and draw. Alright, 5 more gold. A little disappointed. We got 15 cards left, and not sure how much longer of the vault. Alright, so, what was it, 5? Yep, five gold. I mean, we need the gold it too, but I do want the items. Like I said, I want monster loot. Um, that's it for her. And then goes to Rook. Fortunately, he doesn't have Aspect anymore, but that's all right. I'm going to go ahead and spend one to move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So 6, 8, 10, uh, 11, and th that's going to end up pushing them here. And then that's the end of the round, so this thing's going to get pushed to there. And then we, oh, I forgot to place the exit. <laughs> I completely forgot to place the exit, I apologize. Yeah, there's a red exit down here. Completely forgot. All right, back to inventor seat. All right, new round. Uh, reset. All right, Zeke. Uh, he's not going to get anywhere anytime soon. After rolling for any reason, add a white or a purple. I think I will hold on to that. I'm thinking of taking it and giving it to Zeke, but I don't think he, I really want it for on him. Uh, what I will do, actually, with Zeke, uh, four movements. So let's go ahead and spend and go here. I'll do, I'll spend one to re-equip, or not spend one. I'll spend the adventure pack to re-equip, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and take the chip chitin because he's gonna be in melee more often. Um, Elephie's not, and also she's gonna, also he's gonna go ahead and spend a heal token to go ahead and heal up Elephie to full, and I'll take care of that. 
All right, and then after all that, uh, it's going to go to Rook. Yeah, oh, uh, well, it goes to LFE, but I'm not going to do anything with LFE. I'll let her get just pushed by the current. Um, goes to Rook. Rook will go ahead and search with one, uh, with one stamina, the last color, which is yellow. Uh, gain 10 gold and a random consumable. So, throwing knife. Okay. And then 10 gold. So we're at 438. Okay, got it. Um, and then he'll just move to the exit and I'll take care of that. Um, when condition reward is none so we don't get any experience it's just going to lead us to finding the way which is on page 64 which is here uh you stop short as sari holds up a hand she quickly disappears and reappears a moment later she warns you that the exit to the next area is going to require a key and that the creature with the key is strong undeterred by her warnings you press on soon you round a corner and come into another room with an altar in it an animate stands before the altar, surrounded by cave sickles. The hulking form screeches and sprints, sprints towards you, its axe raised menacingly. All right. And check proof of prowess, because we did it already. Um, the achievement here is like a blur. If an adventure successfully dodges five attacks in one round, read the following. I... I literally don't... I. You would have to... It's so hard to do that many dodges. You would have to either have a full stamina bar or, and or a mix of items that provide dodges, and you have to succeed on every single one. Um, and most creatures don't have multiple attacks when if you met, if they miss on the first one. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't even bother trying this one. I th I'm pretty sure the reward is decent enough, but I honestly don't need anything. I mean, at best, it could be a unique item, which the only unique item that would be kind of useful is either the sentient body suit or possibly the the sort of dominions but with the builds i'm doing right now i don't really need it so um there's no exit but there is the blue objective token which represents the door that's locked and uh a bunch of other stuff but uh for right now i'm gonna go ahead and call this a video i have already done all the gold stuff so let's go ahead and just do this for posterity And uh, this next encounter is going to be a bit of a doozy. I'll tell you that much. So, I am the Depressed Hero, and this was uh, Madara. I'll see you guys next time.